often say she's an ageless wonder. Her lust for life makes this lady tick. When a young man looks at Madam, she just throws herself right at him. She's young at heart and still getting her kicks. And at that place, she's a prime time queen. She puts her stuff on the TV screen. Her outrageous charm fills this funny fun that we call Sarah Joy, I'm expecting an old friend to come by sometime this morning. Who, oh, the ghost of an old comedian? <laughs> <laughs> no, that happened last night. I know. Her name is Kay Jacobs. Please tell me when she gets here. Sure, Pinky. Good. Good morning, Ooh, madam. My, my, my. Aren't we feeling chipper this morning? Yes, we are. Oh, why is he so happy? Is the Butler Union going on strike or something? <laughs> Sarah Joy, how is anyone supposed to sleep around here? Well, good morning, Auntie Madam. What's the problem? Well... One thing, this coffee is cold. Hello? Um, no, sir. Well, I think it's already been sold, but, but thank you very much for calling. Bye-bye. What's been sold? That phone's been ringing off the hook since 6 a.m. Sounds you... like the Twinkies hotline at Munch's Anonymous. <laughs> got that new washer and dryer. Pinky put an ad in the classified section of the paper to try to sell the old Oh. One. See, it's right here. Well, let me see. Come home, Harry. We'll try to adjust your gladiator net. <laughs> oh, Auntie Madam, that's the personal section. It's right here under merchandise for sale. Oh, I see. For sale. Zip lock nightgown. Impossible to take off. Oh, Debbie Boone at the... <laughs> right here, see? Oh, yes. Used washer dryer cheap. Call 555-4321. Ask for Pinker Diamond. <laughs> oh, a little poem. How nice. <laughs> well, I think it's already been sold, because I heard Pinky tell some people to come over and see it. Oh, mm. I'll get it. I'll bet Catherine Hepburn isn't showing her lead filter to strangers. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm looking for Walter Pinkerton. Oh, sure. Come on in. Thank you. Um, uh, I guess you probably recognize my Auntie Madam. I, I uh, certainly do. I watch your show all the time. Uh, uh, Sarah Joy, go find Pinky. Tell her we got a live one. <laughs> Forgive me, but uh, you look like such a very elegant lady. Uh, why would you be interested in anything so old and battered? Old and battered? Mm-hmm. Well, it has been some 22 years, but I had no idea there would be that much change. Did Pinky say 22 years? Why, I had no idea it was that long. Well, I should warn you. The pump shot, the circulation is terrible, the nuts are loose, and of course the old ones all leak and have a very small load capacity. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, Pinky! Oh, Walter. Hello, Kate. Walter! Why, you aren't at all what Madam said. You look wonderful. Oh, thank you. You, you look good, too. Oh. What is this? You mean you're not here to buy the washer-dryer? Oh, no. Oh, Madam, this is Kay Jacobs, a you? dear old friend of mine. What, what did you say to her, anyway? Oh, never mind what I said. Only half of it applies to you anyway. Well, you two make yourselves at home. I have to go out to the garden. Got to see about those worms. <laughs> Twenty-two years. I can't believe it. Oh, oh, it's good to see you, Kate. It's good to see you too, Walter. 
Oh, I thought we'd never see each other again. <laughs> Neither did I. How did you find me? Well, I was watching Madam's show one night, and she mentioned her butler, Walter Pinkerton, and I thought, now, could that be my Walter Pinkerton? <laughs> Same old model. <laughs> of course, my mind still works as well as it did 22 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> However, some of my other parts are a bit rusty. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that laugh. You know, you laughed just like that the last time we saw each other. Oh, that was some weekend. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> now, why didn't you call me that Monday? Now, you said you would. Well, I thought it was just a little fling. Mm. We'd already flung. Oh. <laughs> hey. What brings you here to Southern California? Are you on vacation? Uh, no. No, I'm here to visit my son on his 22nd birthday. Wonderful. You have a son. Yes. Did you bring your husband along, too? No. I'm not married. Oh, divorced, huh? Well, you're in good company with Madam. You know, half the men in this city refer to her as plaintive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not divorced, Walter. Oh. Okay, I am sorry. You're a widow. <laughs> Wrong again, Walter. I've never been married. Huh? He's your son. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Pinkerton, but I was just wondering about lunch. Oh, the pate is in the refrigerator and the bourbon is in the liquor cabinet. <laughs> And I'm in shock. Pinkerton, is something wrong? Bernadette, please, stay out of this. Well, I think I'd best run along now. If you want to contact me, I'll be at the West Side Arms. Oh, don't go, okay. Oh, I must. I don't think this is a very good time to talk. But I want to hear more about my son. Well, if you want to talk to me, you can leave a message at the desk if I'm not in my room. Bye, Walter. And Mary Ann, please enter that trash can. I found an iguana in it this morning. Oh, Pinkerton. Pinkerton, you have a son? Looks that way. Why, you little devil. I bet you it happened that day we got separated in that crowded elevator, didn't it? No, madam. It happened 22 years ago. I had a son and I, I never even knew it. 22 years ago? Well, that's when you and I were together. Why, if he's a big-nosed kid who likes to serve hors d'oeuvres, no, I... No, madam. It happened the day after you and I broke up. I guess it was like I was on a rebound. Rebound? <laughs> Sounds more like a slam dunk. <laughs> what happens now? Well, I, I'd like to see him, and I, I don't even know his name. Whew. Why don't you and Pinky Jr. meet here tonight? You'll have the whole house to yourself. I'm going to do my show now. Then I'm off to a party at Cheech and Chong's. Oh, madam. <laughs> You're a wonderful person, you know that? Aw. Thank you. Oh, oh, I have a wonderful idea. Sarah Joy and I can go see a movie. <laughs> oh, that's a very good idea, Bernie. Yeah. At the Raincoat Roxy downtown, they're showing a double feature. Oh. Party to Oliver to bed and a guy named Mike. Oh. You will just love it. Some of the hot, tarred scenes of that thing. <laughs> Now to get right down to brass tacky. The word entertainer has been used to describe what many of us do in show business, but the word really belongs to just one man who can captivate any audience from any stage in the world. Here is the master performer, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dick Shaw. Yay! Okay. Oh, the nightclub night. Wait a everything. second, I think I left the tooth in there. Oh, good. <laughs> Honey, I couldn't use it. They took all of mine out on a biter. <laughs> may I call you Madam? Oh, you certainly may, Dick. Anytime between 8 and 10. Oh, uh, right. Hey, listen, after an intro like that, I feel like I should do my whole act for you. Woo! Oh, Lord of mercy, don't do that, Dick. We can't afford it. Actually, we had to take up a collection just to pay you for a few minutes at all. You mean I don't get any money for this show? Well, not after I get mine, honey. There ain't nothing left. Thank you, madam. It's been nice seeing you. Oh, no, Dick, don't go. Come back. I've seen your act lots of times. Please don't leave. Oh, right. If you oh, insist. my, my, my. I, I just, uh, well, you know, I, I get so excited and flustered when you get out here. You're so handsome and you have cute uh. hair and everything. I, I just, I, I'm at a loss for words. You know, it started with psoriasis, the heartbreak of psoriasis. And I, I, I just don't know. I, I know exactly how you feel. It happens to me all the time. But sometimes people, they freeze up and they don't know what to ask on these shows. So I always come on and protect myself. Oh, and then, you. 
I have these cards. Cards? Yes. See, these are called newspaper fillers. And whenever I'm in trouble, or she uh, interviewers in trouble, they just ask me these questions. So if oh, you're it's kind of like go fish. Yes. Yes. When you're trying to go, let me give you your card. <laughs> there you are. All right. So if we're in trouble, just ask a card, and we'll have interesting conversation. All right. Well. I'm in shock. I'm in shock looking at you. I cannot believe how incredible you look. I know you a long time, madam. Well, you're ageless, absolutely. I mean, you don't look a day over, a day over. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see now. Spit it out, Dick. Let's oh. see. Uh, oh. I'd say 40. How do you do it? Oh, 40? Well, by claiming I'm 38. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke, madam. Oh, well, you know. Maybe we better go to a card. All right, let's do this. Let me ask you a question. Okay. As soon as I get my glasses. It's so much easier to see what you're oh, reading. Oh, yes. Here. 40, you're getting... Okay, are you your ready? Your eyes go at 40 and your legs go at 80. And what else? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Dick, you've done a lot of legitimate stage work in your career. Yes. I'd I like have. to know about that. Have you Have you got anything else planned, like in uh, plays or written anything? Or are you doing anything in the future? Well, I'm going to do um, a musical this fall. A musical? Yes. You, you like know, to sing? I love to sing. You know who my favorite singer is? Who's that? Pavarotti. Pavarotti. Especially that big hit of his. Remember? Look at honey, I'm in love again. <laughs> well, forget that, Brad. Another card. Another card. Another card? Another card. The people are watching. But this is what I've got here. I can't read hmm. without my glasses either. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here's one. So far as science has been able to discover, there are no two objects in the world exactly alike, no matter whether they are natural or artificial. Uh-huh. This should come as a big surprise to Dolly Parton. <laughs> Thank Ooh, goodness for really the cards. Fill in there, you see what I mean? The cards are great. Yeah, the that's a great, great. fellow card. Have a whole show. Heard it. A whole show, nothing but call it cards. Mm. Well, if Dolly Parton used these as fellas, she'd have to be called Dolly Carton. <laughs> That's right. good. Hey, this is fun. Forget those ordinary questions. Here's one. Ben Johnson, the English poet, was buried in a sitting posture because his burial plot was not big enough to place him horizontally. Oh, horizontally. Mm. Now we're getting into hobbies. That happened to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what are you doing after you leave here? After I leave here, I'm doing an interesting project, madam. Really? I'm, yes, you know, I like to do Broadway theater. I mean, that's my, really, my, my big thing. And I've been doing very well. Last year I did four. Four Broadway shows in 12 weeks. My, my. Yeah, but I've got a new one I'm doing this winter. It's never been done before. Uh, wh wh what is it? Uh, they're taking two former hits and combining them into one big musical. It's called Stop Virginia Wolf. I want to get off. <laughs> I love that. Oh, they ought to shoot that Tennessee Williams. <laughs> well, well, madam, more questions. Uh, Come on, questions. I don't have any more cards. I told you. Dig deep. I have one more card. You do? Yes. Brilliant entertainers shouldn't overstay their welcome. Oh, well, you know that's the truth. Knowing when to leave is the most important thing. Good night, madam, whoever Thank you. you are. Thank you, darling. I love you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, darling. Thank you. Big show, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Big round of applause. Thank you. Mr. Pinkerton, my name is Walter. Hello, Dad. <laughs> Hello, son. <laughs> it's thrilling watching a real pro work. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I've never done that before. I, I must be nervous. I, please forgive me. That's okay. No problem, really. This uh, shirt's a booze-proof material. Scotch guard. <laughs> yeah, I got it when I was away at college. <laughs> oh, well. Where did you go to school? New Jersey Tech. 
No kidding. My alma mater. <laughs> yeah, that's where I studied butler skills, you know, when I gave up my acting. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted to go there. Uh, you've been living now in uh, California, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm a chauffeur. Oh. Every day, it's the same routine. I drive this rich old lady to have her legs caulked, her hair sandblasted, and her face spackled. <laughs> Next week, she goes into escrow for Century 21. Oh. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I... I guess you've never really forgiven me for not spending all those years with you. No, I haven't. Listen, I promised my mother I would try and get along with you, but it obviously isn't working, so I'm just going to split. Oh, no, no, Walter, don't go. Please, let me make it up to it's you. It's too late for that. But there is something you could do for my mother. Tell me what it is. I'll do anything I can to help. Well... Through no fault of her own, she has gotten herself into a terrible financial bind. Oh, I'm sorry. If she doesn't come up with $25,000, they're going to take away her house. Oh. The same house you were absent from all of those years. Oh, poor Kay. Oh, believe me, Walter. If I had that kind of money, it would be her. Oh, sure, I know. But I assure you, I don't. <laughs> I wonder where the heck you could get it. I mean, it's not as if you know anybody with any money or anything. <laughs> No, 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 Pinky, not one cent. <laughs> I won't come up with a dime until you have some proof that the kid is yours. But he is my son. He's exactly like me, right down to my dishwater hands. Oh, all right, Pinky. I'll come up with the money. Well, what made you change your mind? Well, Pink, you did me a favor once. You know, you gave up big money when you decided not to publish your diary. That could really have embarrassed me. Well, I was glad to do it. You know that. Aw, oh, and I'm glad to give you the 25000 At 18% interest, compounded quarterly, payable the first of each month. Let's see now, uh, that's, uh, well, let me get a little calculator out here. I know it's done. Oh, here it is now. Oh, my God. Pinky? Oh, can you, can you do one little more favor for me? Yeah, right. Pull, darling. Pull. Oh. oh. Forget the interest, I don't need it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bernie. Where on earth is Pinkerton? He didn't wake me, he didn't bring me my breakfast, he didn't bring my paper. <laughs> where is he, you ask? Well, where has he been for the last week? Up in his room, staring at the wallpaper. I know. He's disappointed because his son doesn't call or come to see him. Oh, that ingrate. I mean, Pinkerton forked over all that money. Well, that proves it's his son. Only one's children never call. <laughs> Good morning, Pinky. Anybody call? Uh, no, no. Only someone wanting to know if Madam wanted to contribute to the Boy Scouts' father and son. Oh, oh, yes. Sorry. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, goodness. I, 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 uh, oh, I think I'll go get your paper. Why don't you do that, Bernie? <laughs> well, cheer up, Pinky. Uh, let's look at this way. At least you won't get one of those god-awful ties on Father's Day. Who cries if that woman had anything like me? The kid would be going to a father-son banquet with a New York jet. Oh, oh, my stars, listen to this. Con artists arrested. Beverly Hills police have arrested Denton Salisbury and his accomplice, Kay Jacobs. Salisbury, a master of disguises, was charged with posing as the long-lost son of famous men who had allegedly had relations long ago with the Jacobs woman. Oh, what a relief. That's wonderful. Are you totally bonkers? They got all your money. No, it's a relief that it wasn't my son who didn't call me. I don't care about some 
crook not calling me. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. Listen, Chip. Uh -huh. Now listen. Police found a large amount of cash in their possession, as well as an uncashed check for twenty-five thousand dollars. Thank you, Payne Weather. Well, Beaky, I guess we have to give the scars back. You don't have a bouncing boy. No, I don't. But they do have a bouncing check. <laughs> But you know something? I miss the feeling of not having a son. As a matter of fact, I'd like to have a son. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, pink. Oh, pink. Oh, don't you. Don't look at me. Don't you get me. <laughs> Who will have their day on the red clay? The Italian Open on USA. Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m., 1 central. You know that dorm washer and dryer ad got me hooked on the classifieds. <gasps> hey, look. Here's a saxophone for $11. Oh, well, I'll pay you $12 not to buy it, dear. <laughs> Let me see that. Hey, that's a picture of that young con man who tried to palm himself off as my son. Mm. I was so dumb, I should have spotted it. Ooh, look at that face. Those beady eyes and that shifty mouth. That's the face of a natural-born crook. Was that in today's paper? Uh, no, actually it wasn't. I found this in Madam's scrapbook. It's a newspaper from your hometown 30 years ago. Pinkerton, it's a picture of you when you got your diploma from Butler School. <laughs> <clears throat> nice chin, though, don't you think? Well, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. 